It's not as salty as some of the other corned beefs, which I think is a corned beefs. Beefs is not a word. Hi everybody, it's Gans, and I want to welcome you to the first episode of hashtag I Dare You Gans. What I did was I popped a question over on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash Dean, and I asked you guys to come and share with me a food that you would like me to try. One of the suggestions was durian. There actually was durian in the grocery, but I wanted to buy the ones that were already pre-cut, you know, because I don't want to buy whole durian only to find out that I don't like it. Another suggestion came in that I should try a white onion raw. And then we had another suggestion, which was for balut. And I grew up here, and I love balut. So I thought, let's do something different. So I went to the grocery, and I decided to go over to the meat aisle. I was there in the aisle, and I realized, you know what? There are so many different brands of corned beef. Why don't we just try all the different brands of corned beef? And so, here we have it. And there are some here that I've actually literally never tried. I'm <laughs> so excited. I love corned beef. So here's the way it's going to work. What I'm going to do is place some of the corned beef on top of a toasted piece of bread. Now I know there are those of you guys who think that corned beef is better with rice. You know what? I agree with you. I love corned beef on top of rice more than bread. But there's so much corned beef. I don't want to have all that rice. So we'll have it on a little bit of toast. And that is how we'll try it. And I'll let you guys know about the flavors of each and individual one. And by the end of it, hopefully, you guys would have gotten to see the wide range of Filipino corned beef that's available on the market. And at the same time, you'll get an idea of what it should taste like, which ones I personally feel would be best. Let's do this! Just eat it, eat it. Okay, so the first one we have here is the CBO corned beef guisado. Let's give it a shot. Well, overall, I think it would be all right. Now, please note that this particular brand of corned beef, this particular item right here, has soy protein, which I think is serving as an extender for the beef. Typically, you can buy this in the groceries for about 15 pesos, which is not too shabby if you have a cup of rice or some pandesal to go with it for a quick, easy-to-go meal. Just eat it, eat it. And now over here we have a similar product, it's the same size, it's the 555 Carne Norte uh, Guisado. Here we go! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> For me it tastes a little bit like liver spread. Now here is a third brand of Carne Norte. This one is Star. And it's manufactured by our friends at Pure Foods, Pure Foods Hormel. What I noticed about this when I opened it up was that it didn't look as red as the other two, as the 555 and as the uh, CDO Carne Norte. That smell that reminded me of barbecue. All right, in terms of flavor, it isn't as intense as 555 or as uh, CDO. This is a little more bland compared to the other two. Also, it has uh, soy protein. So if you had to choose between the three of them, if you want your stuff nice and red, then you would go with CDO. If you would have to choose something where you're not a big fan of the color, you want something a little more brown, feels a little more organic, then you might want to go with uh, Star. Plus, it's got height-building nutrients, which is great for me at 5'7". Just eat it, eat it. Okay, Argentina corned beef. Now it says it's chunky and it says it's corned beef. So it's different from the carne norte guisado that we had with CDO and 555 earlier. And growing up, this was my mom's absolute favorite corned beef next to palm. You can imagine my surprise when I opened it up and the first thing that I saw when I opened it up are these little chunks of fat. Proof that it's supposed to be real beef because you're seeing the fat flow to the top. That's a sign that it's supposed to be good and there's a decent amount of beef in it, especially if the corned beef is supposed to be chunky. However, I am so thrown off by how red this corned beef is. It's so red, you guys. Um, you can see the strings. You can see how chunky it is. It brings memories of my mom really enjoying it, but as I smell it, it smells okay. 
this one also has a soy protein and for me that's a big deal because i don't think that there should be any extenders in your corned beef but we'll find out in a second because it's argentina hmm. Hmm. okay the good the flavor is certainly better than the carne norte uh types of corned beef and so you can really taste the beef in this one you can feel the strings so the texture is a lot better than the carne norte and also a good thing aside from the fact that i just think that the redness is just it just throws me off it's just so red and the fact that it also has soy protein but if you can get past that this is actually not too shabby a brand of corned beef just eat it, eat it. Now we have here at Youngstown. Now I know Youngstown because of the sardines and the sardines are delightful. Did not know they made corned beef, but this one claims that it has two consecutive international best quality award without the S. So they've set us up. Let's see. It says corned beef. When you look at it, it says carne norte. And it also has the soy protein. It also has the beef and the beef broth. When you look at it, it looks all chunky. So I am not particularly, I'm seeing like little bits of, you know, floating fat that, or could be fat, could be soy protein, I'm not sure. In terms of the look, it looks just like the others. So I'm not expecting it to taste significantly different from the others as well. I got a chunk of something. So we know of at least four brands of corned beef now that have soy protein as extenders. It's also a cost thing. But if you're on a budget, at least you know that you've got a good selection. You can go 555, you can go CDO, you can go uh, Star, or you can go with Youngstown. So at least four brands of affordable corned beef made in the Philippines. Just eat it, eat it, open up your mouth and feed it. Okay, you guys, Lego Premium Corned Beef. Again, another brand that's known for its sardines. <laughs> The first thing that I noticed when I checked the ingredients list, you guys, and this is the only one from all the ones that we've seen so far, may contain cooked cattle beef and or buffalo meat. We're getting cow beef. I did notice when I opened it up and I poured it out, the first thing I noticed is that it was really stringy, all right? And I don't normally see that kind of string uh, action going on with most of the other corned beef that I've opened. The only one that had that kind of stringy action was... Pure foods, so I'm not sure about the flavor, but in terms of look, this is the kind of look that I honestly would like to go for. But it also, aside from the fact that it is carrot beef, it also has the dreaded soy protein, so it also has extenders. So let's give it a shot. Mmm. This is a surprise for me. It's let it's almost half the price of pure foods but the flavor you guys it's really good I am so surprised <laughs> and I didn't encounter a lot of the soy protein that makes it feel artificial so it tasted a lot like the corned beef that we're used to that I'm used to this is good corned beef Wow Just eat it. Alright, Highlands Corned Beef. It's 100% pure beef, but we don't have soy protein with this one, so you're getting pure corned beef. You'll find it's a lot less red than so many of the other products that I tried today, that you're not getting a lot of coloring. Alright. It's good. It's not as salty as some of the other corned beefs, which I think is a corned beefs. What kind of lit me jar are you? Overall, definitely something that you would want to try. And price-wise, it is actually around two to three pesos more expensive than the Pure Foods corned beef. At least it's less food color. Overall, this is still one of the better corned beef uh, brands that I've tried today. Just eat it, eat it. Open up your mouth and feed it. Now we have the Swift Premium Black Label corned beef. It's slow cooked, it's cured to perfection, it's larger than most of the other cans of corned beef on the market, 
at 210 uh, grams for the smallest size. The packaging certainly tells you it's premium. Good news, no soy protein. It's not as red as any of the, as most of the previous ones. One thing I'm noticing is that when I cooked it, is that it had a, it seemed to have more oil. It's soaking through my bread, as a matter of fact. Ugh, not a big fan of oily meat. Anyway, give it a shot. Okay, the good. It's delicious. If you open this up, you'll notice there's a lot of beef fat in that. If you're not eating your corned beef hot off the pan and it cools off, you might end up with a corned beef that's a little too fatty. Flavor-wise, it's very good. The texture, I felt, was a little weird. It might not necessarily be as good as you would hope if you're not eating it hot off the pan. You gotta, you gotta strain some of that oil out because it's a very oily corned beef. Just eat it, eat it, open up your mouth and feed it. Okay, Delamondo. Now this one is a cult classic for so many people. And you can tell about the quality of the thing because if you look at the ingredients, it does not have soy protein, so there are no extenders in this one. Also, you'll notice, unlike some of the other corned beef that we've seen, this one here, you can literally see the beef. You can see chunks of it. You know that you're getting actual beef. Now there are two brands. There's ranch style and there's garlic and chili. Not a fan of spicy food, so I went for the ranch style. All right, so let's give this one a try. I'm sorry, <laughs> that's good corned beef. Mmm. Shucks. And I think that the way that they seasoned the corned beef is just so much more superior to some of the other ones that we had. Overall, I think it's definitely delicious. Just eat it, eat it. Open up your mouth and feed it. Okay, we are down to the Mercedes Benz of corned beef as far as the Philippines is concerned. This is Pure Foods corned beef, and this is arguably the most popular corned beef in the Philippines. It's made from 100% pure beef, now with longer strands. I was telling you, you guys, strands are important. People like their strands. So it's cooked beef, beef broth, iodized salt, and a lot of the others. And it's made from 100% beef ingredient. So it says it's made with 100% pure beef, but there's an asterisk, and we go to the side, it says made from 100% beef ingredient. What does that mean? What are you trying to hide, pure foods? Anyway, I'm sure it's delicious. It really is. So what's good about pure foods is that the salting is perfect. It's not too salty, it's not too bland. Color-wise, it's not too red, it's not pale brown. It's got just the right good color and then you've got the strands although i got it i gotta tell you i'm a little thrown by that fine print and so it's not that i don't trust pure foods i don't like fine print fine print scares me i'm like if you need to put fine print there that that, that tells me you're hiding something and i'm not 100 percent sure that i now trust this given that it has fine print maybe i'll contact them anywho uh right now i am literally having the meat sweats that was a lot of meat. And so there you go. I dare you Gans corned beef. I'm glad I took that dare. I feel like a walking piece of corned beef. Hope you enjoyed that. If you liked it, please do share it or like it um, over on Facebook or over on YouTube. What's your favorite corned beef, local or international? Let me know in the comments. Would love to chat with you guys about what your favorite corned beefs are as well. Corned beef. If you have any suggestions on what I should try next, just leave it in the comments as well. And I'll see you guys again next time. God bless you. See you soon, friends. Uh. I'm bitter, oh, combo tonight.